Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day. So I'm here in Bangor, Maine, my ancestral homeland. And I've got a little ride queued up here for FSD Beta 10.5. And we're going right through downtown Bangor, and we're headed out to this industrial area. Um, so it looks like it's about an 11 minute ride. And we're starting off on this, on this uh, residential area. So let's see how we do. Let's see if we can make it without an intervention. I do have to apologize about the, I don't know why it's putting the blinker on there. I do have to apologize about the wipers, guys. Okay, this is not, not ideal. Um, apologize about the wipers um, there's still a lot of snow and ice on my roof and it's melting and, and dropping water down onto the windshield and causing the wipers to go a lot so it'll probably be some of the only winter footage you'll ever get out of me guys so <laughs> nicely around that car that was pushed out too far I'm gonna nudge it along here guys because there's a bit of traffic behind us I personally don't like annoying other drivers. I don't think testing for our benefit is worth um, giving people anxiety. So, well, giving other people anxiety. <laughs> it's worth our own anxiety, I guess, but I suppose that's debatable too. <laughs> Yeah, they're not they're not much for lane lines here in Bangor, Maine, guys. I mean, even look even here, there's hardly anything. Um, and this is this is State Street or whatever. This is like one of the main thoroughfares um, of the city. So it's quite a nice city. I I always loved it here. So if you ever are nearby, get a chance to come through and we check it out. My only um, problem with the city is that. It's just surrounded by woods. Like there's no other cities to, to drive to. Um, and there's nothing like that. There's no pro sports teams or even even semi-pro sports teams or anything like that. Um, growing up, there was one nightclub here. And uh, yeah, so it's not much. I actually didn't grow up here. I grew up maybe an hour away or something, but a lot of my family's from this area, so. And I specifically wanted to go through this area right here where you have to turn right and it's a one way and the uh, looks like the navigation has it down packed, so no problem. And thankfully there's no one behind us so we can let the system do its thing. I apologize for the wipers, guys. Nothing I can do about that. So it is waiting for the light, which it doesn't need to. Um, I'm gonna let it keep waiting until someone comes up behind me. Poor weather detector. Oh, the weather's actually kind of nice. But... Okay, it looks like people are coming up behind us. Oh, it's a green lane anyway, so. Okay, let's see how we do, and then we gotta get in the left lane and take a left. Fast into there, but no problem. And it's gonna change lanes. Okay. Turn, turn, turn. Thank you. I thought she was gonna go in front of us. Okay, we're allowed to go right on right here, so this is fine. And I think it's actually a one way over there anyway, but whatever. And up the hill. Okay, so far okay. Too bad. So he's trying to 
now get in the parking light there. Oh, that is a parking light. Yeah, it probably should stop. Okay, yeah, we made it. Barely. I probably would have stopped, but well. Looks like we want the left lane here to go straight. Let's we'll see how the car does. Nice. Good. Very good. Alright. I do apologize for the wipers, guys. I should just clean the roof off. I don't know. That would probably help, I assume. But... straight ahead it's um, former military base and I think it's the longest runway in the uh, the longest civilian runway in the continental US or the whole US or something To shoot a video in Portland, Maine. It's a lot more urban than than this. Yeah, 
Uh, well, my FSD Across America series, I've, I've definitely struggled freaking hard there because of the hoodie. Um, thankfully, there's no one behind us. Anyway, I've definitely struggled in these different states to find really interesting, difficult areas to drive in. Um, which, you know, maybe is a credit to the system, really. Okay, we want to go right in there. Okay, good. For some reason I thought it was going to go straight. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I just haven't found any difficulty, I think. Honestly, I, I think in these rural areas, it's got the wrong blinker on now. Being really timid even though there's no one there at all. So, I'm not really seeing merging improvements. Um, definitely haven't seen any regressions in merging or anything else, but... Yeah, looks like we're a very good chance here, guys. I'm just going to be a left here. And look at that, it's actually going in the shared left lane. Very good. And then around this thing, yep, perfect. A little jerky, but that was, that was great. Not super comfortable, but very well navigated, so... Yeah, looks like our destination's right here on this road, so... Very straightforward drive. I mean, not, not the most difficult, not very technical. Um, so yeah, I'll keep at it. I'll keep trying to find more interesting, more technical rides, more difficulty. Um, so stay tuned for more episodes. I, I hope you enjoy it, guys. And if you've watched this far, go ahead and subscribe. Because you must like this kind of stuff. And I think it's just going to stop in the middle of the road here. And we'll be good. So yeah, that was what? 10 plus minute drive with no intervention. I don't know, maybe the system's good enough for these rural areas. Alright, I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching.